Hello, my data buddies. I hope you all are doing really good. So in my nine years of overall experience in the data engineering domain, I have cracked multiple top tier product based companies and there have been instances where I have been rejected by top tier product based companies as well. And to be very honest, I was doing good in the technical rounds, be it the Python, SQL, Spark, Cloud and the data pipeline design rounds, behavioral rounds even. But one of the round where I was failing very frequently, I was lacking actually, that was data warehouse and modeling round. Because if you have, let's say, appeared in the product based companies for any of the data profile, be data engineering, data science, data analytics, BI engineering, business analyst, then these product based companies schedule a dedicated round for it, which is the data warehouse and modeling design round. And there they will be asking the practical questions and maybe in 45 minutes or one hour, it will be whole interactive discussion where you need to come up with a optimal data warehouse model designed for that particular problem. This was the round where I was failing and reason is very simple and it's not just for me and for the other 70 to 80 percent data professionals as well who are failing in these rounds. We actually try to cover the surface level knowledge of the data warehouses, data models like the star schema, snowflake schema, galaxy schema, dimension fact tables. But on the practical grounds, we do not implement it end to end. We do not try to design it end to end through the practical business perspective and the user point of view. That is the reason where people lack uh, like designing the optimal data warehouses and same thing happened with me as well. And I can even give you the examples that what kind of practical questions like these product based companies ask with respect to the data warehouse and modeling. So talking about my Google interview experience, so they asked me to design the data warehouse and model for the Uber kind of application in Atlassian. They asked me to design the data model for the Zoom car kind of application in the Grab. They asked me to design the data model for the food delivery application in Flipkart. They asked me to design the data model for the IPL tournament as a whole platform and in Expedia, they asked me to design the data model for the support perspective, like I'm the operations manager in a company and we have installed the software application to book the meeting rooms. So how that entire data model for this kind of application will work. So in these kind of rounds, you need to come up with the right optimal data warehouse designs, how you will design it. And by any chance you feel this is not true, like product based companies do not ask something like this. Then so on your screen, I can even show you that this is the data engineer open role in the Amazon. And if I scroll down, right, so here in the basic qualification and preferred qualification, you will definitely see this term, right, experience with data modeling and warehousing. Similarly, uh, if I go to another job opening, which is for the Uber, and this is the senior data engineer role, right? So if I scroll down, you will see strong in data warehousing and data modeling concept experience with DWH uh, or the BI intelligence tools. So that's why I'm saying that this round specifically becomes very very critical a lot of people perform really good on the technical aspect then they literally fail in these rounds because of the surface level knowledge not the practical kind of knowledge and this is the exact problem i will be solving in my first ever online live classroom data warehouse modeling bootcamp which will be from completely basic to advanced this is the kind of program i have designed where you will be learning the thing, the gaps which I was talking about through the practical implementation only, practical knowledge only, right? Solving the six end to end projects, right? Of the product based company kind of interview questions in the form of project end to end, right? The whole data model, KPI is the business insights of it, designing it into the Power BI, using the snowflake, deploying it, all that part. So I must say a very important gap we are trying to fill here and this Bootcamp is starting from this 22nd November itself. Although it's a live classroom program, but it does not mean that uh, if you miss any live class, you won't be able to watch it, right? Each live class gets recorded as well. So if you're watching this video, like some later point of time, still you can join uh, this bootcamp, right? But obviously, whatever class you will miss, you will be able to watch the recorded form of it with all the supporting content, but that should be fine with you. So for the live classroom program, now the last 16 seats left because it's a very limited seed cohort and the link has been given in the description. You can visit www.growdataskills.com and by any chance you want to inquire something, you have any query, you can definitely call 
or drop a WhatsApp message and I will be happy to help you for any query. And now quickly I will give you the complete walkthrough of it that when I say the entire data warehousing data modeling knowledge, then what is going to be there for all of you. So obviously the program I talked about, there will be proper live doubt support as well, placement assistance, certificate of completion, right? All these offerings are listed here, but let me walk you through the actual content, the depth of it, starting from the data modeling, ERD concepts type of the data models, then going on to the data warehousing where a snowflake will come into the picture. You will be learning each and everything about it. Then coming to the introduction to data modeling in Power BI, like how to design those kind of visual representations of the data models showing up the uh, relationship between them, how to design all those things so that we can also bring that uh, into the business insights form, building the dashboarding on top of it. So Power BI will come into the picture here, all the extensive part, everything as I said, basic to advanced will be covered. So you don't need to juggle here and there and then create the data models in the Power BI. What is the whole process of it designing the things end to end, right? You can see how extensive it is going to be. Then most important part, the security features in the data model, right? How to implement that part coming to the governance and the maintenance of the data model, because these are the very important and super, super standard things which needs to be covered in the production grade or production quality kind of data models, right? All those things will be here. And then you can see the industrial projects, the one, two, three, four, five, six end to end data modeling related projects, right? This will solve each and every problem you are facing right now with respect to cracking the data warehouse modeling design rounds or if you are lacking in this skill itself and then helping all the learners with the proper resume preparation side the optimization of the linkedin and the knock profile the interview strategies all those things whatever we can assist from our side to get you in a job as well so this is how the kind of extensive boot camp we have created so yeah it's starting really really soon and as i said this will solve the actual problem you are facing so what are you waiting for the limited seat cohort very limited seats left link is in the description or you can visit www.growdataskills.com life class starting from 22nd of november and if you have any query, any doubt, just feel free to call or drop a WhatsApp message on this number and we will help you for each and every query. So hurry up, do it right now and we will see you in the live classes from 22nd.